Hey everybody, good morning. It is Monday morning. Today is National Brothers Day. I do not have a brother. Um, I have a sister, but my husband has a brother. Uh, my sons are brothers to each other. I have three sons, so happy National Brothers Day to them. I'm going to read you a book today. It's pretty funny. It's called Another Brother. It's written by Matthew Cordell. Another brother. That's probably what my kids were thinking. <laughs> For four glorious years, Davy had a mom and dad all to himself. When Davy sang a tender ballad, dad cried. When Davy knitted a woolly masterpiece, mom rejoiced. When Davy sheared his dandy hairdo, mom and dad cried and rejoiced. But things changed. Davy got a brother, Petey. When Davy sang, Petey cried. When Davy knitted, Petey spat up. When Davy sheared, Petey kneaded potty. And if that wasn't enough, Davy got another brother, Mike, and another brother, Stu, and then another, Mikey, and then another, Carl, and another, Pip, and another, Ralph and another Tate, and another Lenny, and another Gil, and another Ned, and another Bob. Oh my goodness. Twelve whole brothers. Davy was just one of the bunch, but it got worse. Soon, whenever Davy would do something, all twelve of his little brothers would do exactly the same thing. Davy ate Toot Loops for breakfast. Petey, Mikey, Stu, Mickey, Carl, Pip, Ralph, Tate, Lenny, Gil, Ned, and Bob ate Toot Loops too. Davy walked around like a monkey. Petey, Mike, Stu, Mickey, Carl, Pip, Ralph, Tate, Lenny, Gil, Ned, and Bob walked around like monkeys too. Davy ran away as fast as he could. Petey, Mike, Stu, Mickey, Carl, Pip, Ralph, Tate, Lenny, Gil, Ned, and Bob chased him as fast as they could. Mom, Davy said. Dad, they keep copying me. Tell them to leave me alone. It's only a phase, Davy, Mom said. Because you're the oldest, your brothers look up to you. When they get old enough, said Dad, your brothers will have their own interests. They won't copy you at all. Davy groaned. Ugh. Petey, Mike, Stu, Mickey, Carl, Pip, Ralph, Tate, Lenny, Gil, Ned, and Bob groan too. Ugh. So the copying still happened. Monkey bars, pouting, karate, bicycle riding, burping, yawning, singing. One day when Davy sat down to breakfast, he stretched. But his brothers did not stretch. Odd, Davy thought. Davy poured a big bowl of Toot Loops, but Petey wanted oatmeal. Mike and Stu wanted grits. Mickey, Carl, Pip, and Ralph wanted scrambled eggs. Tate, Lenny, and Gil wanted bagels. Ned and Bob wanted creamy wheat. Odd, Davy thought. Davy went for a bike ride and not one brother rode along. Hooray, Davy shouted. I guess that terrible phase is over. So he spent the rest of the day alone, wonderfully, gloriously, completely, utterly, awfully alone. Well, he ended up not liking that. Maybe he could play with his brothers. Petey, Mike, Stu, and Mickey were playing blocks but that was for little sheep. Carl, Pip, Ralph, and Tate were snacking on bananas. Davy didn't like bananas. Lenny, Gil, Ned, and Bob were watching Baby Dude. That show gave Davy nightmares. Not one sheep was left for Davy, so he went to bed. In the morning, Davy yawned a great big yawn. From the next room came another big yawn. 
When he banged his elbow in the bathroom, Davy yelled, Honkin' Plugger! From the next room came a little voice, Honkin' Plugger! Davy started a song, a tender ballad, Ba, ba! When outside the bathroom came another voice, singing the same tender ballad. Could it be another? My darling you, it was a sister. And Gertie copied Davy's every move. So no more brothers, he had a sister now. And he seemed pretty happy about that. So that is another brother. Happy National Brothers Day if you have a brother. Um, I will be back to read another special book in a little bit, but I hope you guys have a great Monday and I'll see you later. Bye.